Hello, what we have here is a Tascam 388 Studio 8. Um, this is an old multi-track tape recorder from 1985. And we have it set up with some old obsolete hardware here to get it to work with a DAW. And you ask how are we doing that? Um, we are using this Music Quest 8 port SE which came out around 1989, I think. And it was for originally for DOS, but there's drivers. Uh, and let me tell you something about that one. That one we had in Bolivia, like I, this is, I made Let It Be, the whole Let It Be song with this, with that MIDI interface on uh, in 96. Yes. We never used the A ports, that was overkill, but all the MIDI was done through that and Let It Be is completely MIDI. Yeah. So I had to use that one. Yeah, so we've had this for many for a decades while. now. Yeah. And, um, the reason why we're using this old computer, is HP with a Pen4, is because it's the only computer we have with a printer port. This is not a USB, this is before USB existed. And we are also using an Mbox USB 1.0 interface here to listen back what we're doing and send recordings into this machine. So if you look at this screen right here, this explains what we do. This is SNPTE settings. This is uh, the drivers for the A port and um, striping means that when you hit that button, it starts sending a, uh, a sound that sounds like a fax machine to the tape machine. We hit record on tape machine, hit stripe. When that happens, um, it's, it starts recording on usually a track eight um, because you can do, uh, there's a feature on this where you can remove the noise reduction so that the signal is clear. We record through the length of the song, say like three minutes, and then stop. Stop the machine. And then every time we play here, this is going to come out of the task amp into the A port. I can show you how that works. And the A port decodes that signal. Sorry, oh, this is a little janky as you know it's like a some uh, old hardware is. and the computer is like a pentium 4 with windows xp from the yeah 90s 2000s as well yeah early 2000s yeah 2000s. so okay we have that running so now you'll see this a test if we hit play here it should they were starting at zero so we can play and we didn't strike the first 10 seconds so we wait till it hits about there and now this is receiving signal you see here it is synced and if you see the 8 port it's showing the signal it's receiving from the task cam it says 13 seconds here it's lined up 16 17 seconds and if we hit stop on the task cam you'll see stops that stops there. there and now we recorded a few minutes so if you hit fast forward say to like a minute little past that and hit play you'll see that that's lined up now obviously it's a little off because we left some time in this but that says 1 minute 13 1 minute 13 14 so it's basically it's following everything the tape machine does which lets you synchronize all your tracks if you record say seven tracks on this you're done you can transfer it on here and then record another seven tracks under that and they'll line up perfectly all the time. So that's the magic of mixing this analog gear with this new digital sequencer stuff and like synchronizers. So it's amazing what you can do with this. Okay. So that was Pablo Popolocho and also X for osox.com. Thank you. Peace.